Freaks, this is Steve Says, episode number 106. Today's going to be a, a special episode. We're going to be talking about the upcoming 24-hour hike for charity coming up this weekend. I'll give you all the details, let you know about what the charity's for, what it's all about, where the donations are going to. It's it's going to be an awesome event. And let you know how those these 24-hour challenges have gone in the past and how these things came about. So first, this is still Steve Says. This is still the shit you need to hear, even if maybe you don't want to hear it, this is the shit you need to hear. And some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Steve says every week here is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles, preventing success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, operate to dominate in your life, and finally start living life on your own freaking terms. That's what it's all about. It's about focusing on your mind, your body, your business. It's having a role model mindset, how to operate with discipline, energy, confidence, be an action taker, a massive, bold action taker, a risk taker, all while being your freak self. This is about adapting and overcoming and getting your shit together, making shit happen, trusting the process, and of course, making no freaking excuses. So today we are going to talk about the 24-hour hike for uh, challenge for charity. It's going on this Saturday. It's 24 hours. Literally starts Saturday at noon, goes all the way till Sunday at noon. Now listen, this isn't a hike where you're going out in deep into the woods and you think you can't participate because you, you, you're you not going to make it 24 hours. You don't want to go out 12 hours into the woods and, and 12 hours back if that's what you think it is. This is about a three and a half, or not even a little less than three and a half mile hike. There are some uphills, some downhills, and it's a loop. So you go the, the three and a half miles and you regroup in the parking lot. So if you need to, you rehydrate, you fuel up, you do what you got to do, you recover, and you do another three and a half mile loop. And we're going to see how many of those we can get in a 24-hour period. Of course, you have to do some rest, recovery, stretching, whatever you got to do. You can come out and join us for just one lap. You can join us the whole fucking 24 hours whatever works for you. So it goes from Saturday noon all the way till Sunday noon here in Southern California. And here's what the the fundraiser is for. It's this is for Save Our Allies. You can check it out at saveourallies.org. It's a this is a veteran military support coalition that's focused on delivering completely full and timely benefits for the for the United States military community that's in need. And ensuring that all the the personnel stranded in Afghanistan and their families uh, who supported the the United States forces, uh, helping them properly be protected from the violence and persecution and all the craziness and evacuating them to other safe countries, including the United States. So that's SaveOurAllies.org. You can check out that fundraiser. You can click the link right in the description of this video that has the link for the fundraiser, which is Save Our Allies or for the charity, and then to actually donate is on the other link, which says 24-hour hike on it. This is all about how many miles can you get in 24 hours. Now, these 24-hour, these hikes started mu- uh, earlier this year, I think maybe January, I don't even know when it was. Tyson and I rode our bikes from Orange County over to San Diego. It was over 120, 130 miles. And let me tell you, once we finished it, we thought, you know what, this is not even that, this is not even, it wasn't even that fucking hard. We were good. We were back in the gym the next day. It was a holiday. We were out of school the next day. We were back in the gym 9 a.m. the next day. Fucking killing it. Doing legs too. Even after doing 120, 30 miles, whatever it was, the night before. Finished at like 10, 30, 11 p.m. By the time we got home, 10, 30, 11 p.m. Still was in the gym the next morning, 9 a.m. And we sat there and we started thinking, we need to challenge ourselves more. We need to push ourselves more. For, not just for ourselves. I mean, it, it's a, a family. It's a bonding thing. So we came up with this list of challenges for the year. And so far, we've done a 24-hour weightlifting challenge, which was named Bench Press a Whale, which the kids came up with, which we had to try and get over 400,000 pounds lifted combined over 24 hours. We stayed up for 24 hours straight and just kept lifting. It wasn't just bench pressing. It was weightlifting. So 24 hours of weightlifting. We did 24 hours of push-ups a 24-hour bike ride after that bike ride down to San Diego. And now this is the 24-hour hike. It is a loop. So you could do a three-mile loop and recover down to the bottom for 10, 15, hour, whatever you want. 
do another one. We can, we're going to be doing it pretty much nonstop. Of course, taking break, rests at the bottom to regroup, recover, stretch out, do what you got to do, change socks, all that, all that good stuff. We're going to have tons of hydration and food and fuel at the bottom. A portable refrigerator to keep things cold. But you can come and join us for any part of it or you can donate on the link. Because we did these challenges for ourselves. This started, this, this started out just really for ourselves to, to push ourselves to have challenges. And we said, you know what? We're doing this. Why not make this a challenge for charity? And we've done different challenges for different charities. This time it's for SaveOurAllies.org. And it's a, a fucking awesome organization that's helping. Think, imagine that. Imagine you're in a, con- a, a foreign country overseas. And you're just fucking left there and abandoned there. Like, you're going to be on the run. You're going to be hiding out. You're going to be hoping that someone is coming to get your ass. Hoping. And hope doesn't get you very fucking far someday, sometimes. So that's what this is all about. Raising money. We've already, we've already raised, and, and we just put the link out just yesterday. Already raised a few hundred bucks. Looking to get this to at least a, a couple thousand, whatever. The, the sky is the limit. So make sure you donate to this cha- to this for this charity, for this challenge. Coming up, you can come out and join us if you're in California, Southern California area. Just send me a private message. I'll, I'll send you all the details, location, all you need to all you need to know about the challenge. And this is going to be it's going to be fucking hard. These 24 hour challenges are not easy. The hardest part is continuing. It's not even the actual. It's the endurance. It's the continuing to keep going even in the middle of the night when you're fucking tired and you had it like after. 12, 14 hours, you're like, all right, this is a fuck enough. And knowing you still got another 10 hours, another 12 hours to go, that's what it's all about. But this is more than just you. This is a, a, a camaraderie. This is a family thing that we do. We do have some, some friends and other families that will be joining us, some project graduates that will be actually joining us in person. Uh, probably just a handful of people. Not going to be a huge in-person event, but you can do this yourself. You can challenge yourself. Find a hike, find a trail. Somewhere in your town, in your city, in your country. And you can follow right along and stay connected while we're going along with this. And you can even share the link and help raise money for this, for the Save Our Allies Foundation. This is more than just your mission. This is more than just your fucking vision. This is more than just your goals and even more than just your purpose. This is something, doing shit like this for a charity or a fundraiser or even even other stuff. Going like, like we're looking to go and do some some other stuff or some homeless shelters coming up. This is more than just that. This is something higher. This is beyond the daily call of duty that you already should be fucking doing just as a as a human, as an American. This is the next level. It's higher than your purpose. It's fucking higher than you. It's higher than yourself. This is your calling. This is the universe calling you to do your fucking part. This is the universe calling you. To do stuff like this. To participate in, in suffering and sacrifice. This is the gravitational pull. The mag- magneticism, if that's a fucking word, of the universe. That is pulling you outside of yourself to go above and beyond and do more. That's what it's about. Into the direction that you're meant to go. And that's what your calling is. More than just you. More than just your family. More than just your career. More than just your wants and your needs and some superficial shit. Even more than just a shitload of money. Of course, it's good to have a shitload of money. You can make a bigger impact, of course. With the more income you make, you can make a bigger impact. And that is needed to help fulfill your calling. To help fulfill your purpose. That is needed. To make a shitload of money. So there's another more. Don't don't get me wrong. Make as much fucking money as you can. But have that higher calling. Something beyond yourself. That's the way you need to think about it. More than just regular shit. This is where suffering and giving back come into place. Think about that. Be able to do all that at the same time. That's why we do these challenges. They fucking suck. They do suck. Like I still have, my elbow still gets tweaked. And that's from a push-up challenge we did, I don't even know, six months ago. And there's certain times where it flares back up. When the bone, when there was like six hours, eight hours left. I feel like it's going to pop out of the skin. But that's... That's what your call, that's what the, my calling is, is combining suffering with giving back. That's where doing shit, doing hardship, hardship 
hardship, volunteering, volunteering not just your money. Of course, the money is going to help, again, move the mission of Save Our Allies. So they do need money for to, to operate what they're doing. And check out the website. You can see some of the stuff they're doing. It's fucking awesome. But doing hard shit and volunteering not just your money, but your, your effort, your mind, and most importantly, your time. That's a calling. A, a, a calling is serving the greater fucking good beyond yourself. A, a commission coming from outside yourself. A commitment coming from outside yourself to serve something bigger than your motherfucking self for once in your life. That's what your calling is. That's what these 24-hour challenges are about. It's a lot deeper than just doing a bunch of fucking push-ups and lifting a bunch of weight. Of course, I, we do this as a family. It pulls us together. And you hear fucking people talk about being role models all the time here on the internet. The little cool motivational pictures and shit that they'll, they'll copy and paste and put out there. Whatever else. It's a different angle today. We see some different pictures. There's a cool one right there. Wait, how about that one? That's some good stuff right there from the project. It just caught, it just caught my eye. You can see it in Facebook, not in the Instagrams. Instagrams got a different view. Anyway, everyone talks about here on the, on the, on the Instagrams and the Facebooks about leaving a legacy. Like, but what are you actually doing to make that legacy a fucking reality? Just going to work every day and going through the motions and just dragging your fucking knuckles through life. That is not a legacy. That is not leaving a legacy. That's you doing the fucking bare minimum. That's you just scraping by. That's motherfucking bullshit. It's not with this fuck, like, like whatever you believe in religion or whatever the fuck we came from. Do we come from fucking apes or birds or dinosaurs or a fucking aliens or whatever the fuck we are? Whatever you believe in, I don't really give a shit what it is. But obviously, it came from somewhere. But. Whatever that is, like, you didn't come, you're not here in this fucking universe, on this fucking rock, spinning on this big ass rock with 8 billion other fucking unique individuals to just be going through the motherfucking motions and then just yapping about you're going to leave a legacy and you want to do this and all that and your purpose and all this and your meaning and all these bullshit fucking terms you throw around because you hear some people talk about it on some motivational speech on the internet when that motherfucker probably ain't even doing it in their own real life what the fuck are you doing to leave a legacy what the fuck are you doing to be a role model to your your kids your family to your community to your state to your nation to your motherfucking planet to this universe to whatever that being is that you think you came from fucking apes or wherever the hell you think we came from or a bunch of rocks colliding together in outer space fucking aliens that's just, be, us coming from aliens is just as believable as any of the other theories or science or religion that you hear about. Think about it. Anyway, everyone talks about legacy. What the fuck are you doing to make a legacy a reality? What are you actually doing? What memorable experiences are you creating for your kids, for your family, that are actually part of your calling, that are actually something higher than yourself, not just about yourself? And that's the kind of shit that answers the question like, how do you feel about yourself when you're by yourself? That's what, what really when you know you're following your call and you're, you're having fulfillment in your life, you're going according to your purpose and meaning all these other fucking words you talk about. And sure, making a fuck ton of money again will help. We have to keep going back to that. Because you do need to make a fuck ton of money to be able to really fulfill your calling, to really push the needle on the impact you're going to make in this fucking rock. But leaving a legacy... Of, of making an actual fucking difference for others knowing that this rock that we're spinning on is going to be slightly better once you're gone or even while you're here hopefully because of what you fucking contributed to your family your people your community your country your fucking universe the whole Whatever you want to fucking call it, the universe, the whole God, creation, religion, whatever the fuck you want to call it, your creator, whatever the hell dropped you on here as a little fucking raisin before you were fucking born. Like, what are you actually doing to do something about that? To leave this fucking rock spinning better than you got here? Go to work every day and then complaining about the bullshit and going to drink a bunch of alcohol and eating a bunch of shitty ass food and sitting around and bitching and moaning and fucking complaining. I ain't doing nothing about it. Get off your fucking ass and do something about it. 
Get off your fucking ass and actually create your legacy. Fucking legacy. You hear about it all the time. I want to leave a legacy. I want to leave a legacy. And the motherfucker's just dragging ass through life. Fucking life of mediocrity. Fucking average. Ordinary. That's just a miserable fucking life. Miserable life. Leaving a legacy is making a fucking actual difference. Making your stamp. Planting your fucking freak flag in this rock. And leaving something behind bigger and greater than yourself. That's what the fuck we're talking about. That's what this 24-hour challenge is all about. And listen, your calling can come through pain and suffering. It can come through happiness and fun. It can come through purpose. It can come through all different fucking ways. Your calling can come through huge, massive, collective effort efforts. Or it can come through you just walking on a fucking dirt hill for 24 hours to give a dollar or two to help some motherfuckers out that need it a lot more than you do. All your bitching and complaining and you're stressing about money and all this other stuff. Just some small individual acts of motherfucking bad assery. That could still be following your calling. It doesn't have to be some massive earth shattering thing. Leave your fucking mark. Put a dent in the bullshit that's out there. All the fucking bitch people bitching and moaning and crying with little fucking face diapers on there. Wipe your ass with that shit. Enough of that bullshit. Telling you what you gotta stick into your fucking blood, into your veins. Fuck you. That ain't a calling. People think that their purpose and their calling is to go force people to wear some fucking shit on their face or to stick a jab, jab a needle in their fucking leg. Where the fuck they put it? Their ass cheek. That's their purpose. That's their calling. That's what they're here for. That they feel like they're, they're doing something for the greater good by telling people they should go get a vaccination. They're, they're really feeling fulfillment from that. Motherfucker. Please. Full of shit. Full of shit. That ain't helping nothing. That ain't helping nothing. So my question to you is, what are you fucking doing to give back? Besides chasing someone around fucking Barnes and Noble telling them to put their mask over their nose. Or delaying a plane taking off because while someone's fucking chomping there, it falls below their big ass carrot hunker. What the fuck are you doing to give back? To the calling that the universe has sent for you. The calling, there's a calling from the universe sent to everybody. Most motherfuckers are too lazy, have too much fear, too much doubt, too much procrastination, too much motherfucking bitch assery. How about some badassery over bitch assery? Let's start a movement. Badass motherfuckers over bitch ass motherfuckers. That's a civil war. That's gonna be the civil war in this country. Badass motherfuckers against bitch ass motherfuckers. What side are you gonna be on? What are you doing to give back to the calling that the universe has sent to you? And on top of that, shit, what do you owe? What do you owe? We all have some karmic debt to pay back. Shit, I, I know I'll be paying back that motherfucker until I die and probably still cutting checks up, up in hell or down in hell or out in hell, where the fuck hell is. My credit will be no good there. We find, we find this, this calling and we feed this calling and satisfy this calling usually through some sort of suffering and fucking sacrifice. Because listen, nothing great, no great victory, no great fulfillment, no great money, no great anything, no great mission, no great fucking satisfaction or success has ever occurred without a significant level of hardship, sacrifice, suffering, and some motherfucking pain. And when you can combine that suffering and hardship with giving back something above and beyond yourself while you're giving your time and your effort and your blood and your fucking sweat, Giving that back while you're suffering and pain. That's a motherfucking magic. That is the ultimate calling. And that's what these 24-hour challenges are all about. So this coming weekend, me and the Freak family, will be doing it. And listen, if we're alone and it's just the money I donate myself, you know what? That'll be good enough for me. I don't need a big recognition or a big fucking group of people or a shitload of money. But it is my motherfucking calling. Suffering, pain, and motherfucking giving back. Not being a little bitch. Not being a little motherfucking bitch. Bad assery over bitch assery. I like it. I like it. I gotta write that shit down before I forget it. Cause I'll forget that. Bad assery over bitch assery. I'm gonna make a fucking t-shirt that says that shit. Hell yeah.
The Freak Code line of shirts. The Freak Code line. Going freak mode on a motherfucker. Going freak mode on a bitch ass. That's what it's all about. So we're going to start 12 p.m. Saturday and go all the way to 12 p.m. Sunday this weekend. It's going to be, a, a more, again, more than three mile hike. You don't need to just disappear in the woods for 24 hours. You can join for just one loop or the whole fucking 24 hours. Whatever works for you. We're going to set up cars and food and stuff at the bottom. They're just hanging out in between. We're going to have fun whether or not anyone joins us or not. Bring your friends, your family, motherfucking goats. And there's actually goats on the trail. You get a special fucking bonus. There's goats on the trail. You get to smell some goat shit and hear the motherfucking ba ba ba. And this is all going to Save Our Allies. Again, Save Our Allies is that is that military support uh, d- d- helping with the evacuations of and and assistance of the people who were or stranded in Afghanistan. That the whether they were interpreters or our allies or even still fucking Americans out of there. Even hopefully the dogs, there were dogs, like dozens and dozens of dogs that were just left there. Midge wants me to head out and risk my life. So it's me and Tyson to go and rescue the fucking dogs. I'm down. I'm down. Only if Tyson can come with me because I know that little motherfucker will have my back. He will have my back. He will ride the motherfucking wave to the grave with me. So donate for this fundraiser to support our evacuation efforts to get Those in desperate need to safety in Afghanistan. There's no motherfucking time to waste. And we as a country, we owe this debt to those who've risked their lives to protect our motherfucking freedom. So you could sit there on the fucking Instagrams and you could sit there walking around Barnes and Noble harassing people about their fucking mask and their vaccination. It's because fucking people that we strained over there. People like that who allowed you to sit there and eat your little fucking cornflakes and go to your little Taco Bell and eat your fucking Fruit Loops. While you're planning about who you're going to harass about jabbing a fucking needle in their ass today. Yeah, they gave you the fucking right. They gave you the motherfucking freedom to go harass people like me when a fucking mask drops below my nose. Fuck you. But you know what? We'll still fucking kill for you and we'll still die for you because that's what we do. That's how we motherfucking roll. And that's what this hike is all about. What are you doing to give back? What are you doing to fulfill your call in this universe? How many fucking miles can you hike? In 24 hours. We'll be doing it. We'll be staying awake. We'll be making it happen. And it's always going again. To save our allies. It's it's a, a, a veteran and military support coalition. Focused on delivering full benefits. To US military community in need. And ensuring that Afghan personnel. And their families who supported our US forces. Are protected from violence. And evacuated. As the fucking enemy has just seized control of the whole fucking area we need to go in and do some shit about it and that's what this fundraiser is all about and and Sabre Allies is freaking an, an awesome charity it's not some big corporate bullshit where the money just goes to a bunch of CEOs this goes into the actual fucking trenches this goes in to the field check out the website saveourallies.org Click the link in this video so that you can donate directly on the fundraiser page for this humanitarian effort in Afghanistan. Check it out. I got to get rolling. I will see you next time. And I will actually see you this Saturday. We'll be going live the entire time. Keep me updated about how many miles we're getting in, how the donations are going to saveourallies.org during the challenge. If you want more information, send me a private message about it. Let's talk about it. If you need help with anything, in your mind, your body, your business, send me a message. Let's talk. If you know you know about the project, you want to hear about that, let's jump on the phone and talk about that. But right now, this is all about Save Our Allies, the 24-hour hike challenge, fundraiser for charity this weekend, 24 hours here in Southern California. I will see you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.